Good morning, everyone. Today is a sad day here at the homestead. This is something that has to be done and we do not like doing it, which is why we're chasing stock that is pulled, which means no horns. But this is our disc budding setup. We have the burner, towels to cushion the babies. We got gloves so we don't get burned. Blue coat, Q-tips, and in that cup there is vinegar. Vinegar actually helps cool it. And then we will also have uh, hair clippers out here because we clip the hair off instead of burning it off. And um, we also will have an ice pack so that when we're done burning, we put ice on to help cool them down super fast. And that helps keep their brain from reacting to the intense heat. And there's Jim with some more supplies. There's the clippers in that black container. He's got more gloves, more towels. I don't know why. <laughs> but um, we're getting ready to do the deed. This unfortunately would take a third person to film. So we won't be filming it, but we will show you what they look like when we're all done. It is a very difficult thing for us to do emotionally. Physically, it's easy emotionally it is hard and you have a 50 50 chance of success and failure because most of my bucklings from the winter kidding have started growing what we call skurs or a type of horn so we're trying to get these guys done before they get much older because they're nice and tiny and their horn buds are tiny so we're going to try and get it done and then we got to make sure they stay sweet and cuddly like they are right now they're all in there. You can see I have my Gorilla Cart here. I've been working on cleaning out. I'm cleaning out the milk stanchion of all the hay buildup from the winter. So I've been working on that while he's setting up for this. Gracie, get off your mama. She's back there and she's standing on her mama. I don't know if you can see that, guys. Oh, my gosh. She's not on featherweight anymore. Looks like all the babies must be napping somewhere because I don't see any out and about. There's mama to the triplets and most likely her kids are sleeping. I see, oh, looks like they're all in this shed right here. All right, guys, I think we're almost ready to get started. I'll bring you back for how it all looks when we're all done. Okay, guys, little Leo is done. I don't know if you can see that. But his horns are now officially gone. <coughs> yes, he's upset. He wants his mama. All right, we're going to take him back and start the next one. <coughs> okay, guys. My pretty little Lucky is done. <coughs> so, he had some pretty thick <coughs> base to his horn buds. We had to work on him a little longer than we did Leo. Leo's were pretty small compared to this guy's. But you see, he's fine. He just wants mama now. He's upset. He was been held down, and they do not like to be held down. All right, off to mama we go. Okay, guys, this is little Lily. She's one of the triplets, so the triplets are done now. And as you can see, hers went really easy and fast. She's nice and calm. So they get over it very, very fast. Her horn buds were super tiny, so this should be a really good outcome for her it's the boys you got to watch their horns like to grow no matter what you do all right we're going to take her back to her mama and then we got only one person one goat left and that's little glory okay guys oh she wants up i'm holding her down yet i told you they don't like her her horns are done again she was pretty easy but she's also a lot stronger she's a lot bigger than the other three so she's doing good we're going to put some ice on her Okay, guys, everything's good and calm. Keep in mind, this is only a few minutes after Glory was done, and she's in here. Looks like she's going to, when we started this budding, they were all in here sleeping, so it looks like they're going to come in here and lay down again. You see, they're not mad at us. This is little Lucky. Hi, Lucky. Hi, Lucky. You can see that now. You see how his is a little raised? The girls are totally flat. That's the difference between a horn bud on a male goat and a female goat. A lot more aggressive growth on these boys, let me tell you. And what we don't do now, we try not to touch their heads 
unless they're wanting a little scratch, but we want to give them some time to heal over. And what will happen now, it'll actually scab over. And over time, that scab will definitely fall off. And then hopefully there's no horn growth. Now, we do watch them very closely. While they're this small, we want to make sure that they bounce right back from this budding. And so far, everybody looks great. We also want to um, watch for any growth within the next week or two. If we note any growth, then those poor babies have to be reburned or we're just going to let them grow. A lot of times we just we choose not to reburn. It is a traumatic thing for us and for them, although they get over it faster than us, I think. <laughs> oh, Leo, buddy. This is Glory. Hey, Glory. Hi, oh, sweetheart. Look at those ears. You can tell she's a, a high-end mini newbie because she's got it all going on. She's got the ears. She's got the nose. Do you? Do you, baby? Huh? Do you got the nose? And the, the hard thing for me was shaving the heads of the prettier ones. You can't even tell I shaved his head, but I did. Oh, he's got a little blood show. So we might have to... Um... Leo's got a blood show. Um, I think I'm just going to watch it, see if it, it's not flowing, it's just a little spot of blood. I think he'll be alright, but I'm going to watch him. What we do when we're, when we take the horn tip off, we actually cauterize so that they don't bleed. But as you can see, he's got a little tight, and that's probably why he's scratching at it. So, <laughs> there goes Lucky. <laughs> what? Your mama's out here, dude. He is our screamer out of this group of babies. Yeah, he needs to leave that alone. Leo, 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 what am I going to do with you? It does irritate them, so that's why he's scratching at it. Until they're nice and calm. All we heard is restless because the babies are upset. You can always tell something's going on. All right, guys, that's it for this update on the babies. It's definitely a sad day. We hate doing it, but it's actually pretty dangerous to have a horned goat, especially one that gets ornery like Oreo. If she had horns, I think she'd destroy everybody in this herd. We have to watch Nala. Nala does use her horns sometimes in aggression, and I try and curb that behavior, but again, it's the instinct in the animal. <laughs> Where are you going, Glory? Glory! All right, guys. It looks like these kids are off and running, and she's kind of chilling. We're keeping an eye on her, though. She seems to be fine. I think she just wants to go back to her nappy. All right, guys. We'll keep you posted how they do. I'll show you their horn buds in a few days just, just so you can see the end result and how it progresses. Take care, and God bless.